Parson Redheads, take one. Two. <laughs> Evan Way with the Parson Redheads. It's great to have you at Mountain Air Studios. Uh, this day has been a long time in coming, and we'll talk about the new album, but I want to start out with a song. Great. Um, I'm going to play a song called Every Mile. Packed all my bags for a desert highway Won't turn around, would you see it my way? Why would I stay in a place where there is no soul? Used to think it was my only savior Losing my mind just to find some favor Gave everything that I had but it needed more Ride with me for a while Stay with me Till we conquer every mile Ride with me for a while Stay with me Till we conquer every There's no one around now to hear me calling Lost in space, honey, I'm free falling Anchor me down to a place that I should call home Time's gone by, now I'm feeling better Rolling with the punches and the changing weather Had it, but I let it go it was not my own Ride with me for a while Stay with me Till we conquer every mile Ride with me for a while Stay with me Evan Way, the Parson Redhead's new album, Orb Weaver, is just great. It, I mean, it's, there's, there's sublime stuff in it, there's rockin' stuff in it, and I want to talk a little bit about the, the producer, uh, Scott McCoy, with yeah. you in just a bit. But uh, you have a great story about the, the title of an al the album, and oh, that's yeah. always kind of a tricky <laughs> thing. How are you going to call your book? How are you going to call your new baby? You know, your new baby, the CD as right. well, you know. So tell me a little bit about how Orb Weaver came to be. Um... Basically, we kind of fell into a tradition of, of naming our albums, having something to do with an animal. Like, I don't know why. The first two album titles we ever had when we were a baby band um, both had animal things in the title, and we were just like, that's kind of fun. And we just, I don't know, we're a band of habits, so we, like, we form these like weird little rituals and things yeah. that we do. Um, so we've kind of kept that going. Over time, it's got way more abstract because... You know, you start to run out of ideas and, <laughs> and you start grasping <laughs> things. Come back! Like, you know, we, yeah. we had an EP we called Murmurations, which is like what, uh, when the swallows do those crazy Right, shapes, the diving things, yeah. That's called murmuration. Really? That's a murmuration. So <laughs> oh, like a murder. You could call it a murder. Crows. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> true. You see those things acting crazy. Um, so yeah, this one called Orb Weaver is named after a spider. A kind of spider. My wife got really into spiders for a while. Like, she was scared of them and fascinated by them. And she always had like this like spider book with her, and we'd see a spider, and she'd like look up what kind of was. Yeah. 
one time she was like, oh, that's an orb weaver, and everyone in the band was like, yeah. such a like mysterious sounding. It's like bird watching, but yeah. spider watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a we more just, subtle. Yeah, we just kept that name in our back pocket, and we we're like, when we yeah. make an album that we think would fit that title, we'll use it. Like, just kind of keep a log of different titles. So. What made this album be right for Orb Weaver? I mean, um, it's very subtle. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think we felt like this album kind of explored more, I don't know, psychedelic territory with the guitars and stuff, mm -hmm. and, and it was just a little more, whereas past albums maybe were a little more playful, this one had a more heavier side to it, and so it just yeah. seemed to work. And it rocks it rocks some. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you go into the studio and you've got Scott McCoy in there leading the charge with you, what kind of things was he trying to get you do, to do or that you were allowing him to do or that you did? You know, how, how did that relationship um, work? I mean, it was kind of like it went both ways a little bit because part of the reason we wanted to work with Scott was because we wanted to make this record that had a more rock, rock and roll edge to it and was more guitar, like electric guitar based. Right. So... And we'd, we'd, we've known Scott for a little while and done a couple shows with him. And we recorded a cover. Right after we moved up here, we recorded a cover of a, a Nick Lowe song with him. And so after that experience, that was really fun. He was like kind of the, on the top of the list. And then when we realized this was the kind of album we wanted to make, it just seemed to make sense that he would help guide us there since it's kind of something we hadn't done much. I mean, it's more like we play live, but we'd never tried to capture that in the studios so. and and when uh i talk also a little bit about your <coughs> approach on doing the harmonies because to me they're just getting better and better and on this album particularly i do feel like i can really hear everybody in the band yeah you really listen you, it, it doesn't take a lot to hear that the way it's mic'd maybe yeah. or how, do, how did you approach the harmony we, it kind of went hand in hand with how we did the a lot of the record the aesthetic of recording it was like you know, do it efficiently and don't take too much time and overthink everything. Just, like, get the sound of the band. So most of the harmonies we did, like, I'd lay down a lead vocal and then we'd do all the harmonies just around one mic um, with a couple mics, like a room mic and then a closer wow. one. So, mm. so most of the harmonies were done live together. That way you could really hear them in the room, hear you them hear the room noise, yeah. Like, it sounds weird to say that that makes a difference. Like, the voices... I, I don't know, the sound waves working with each other at the same time, but mm -hmm. I feel like you can kind of hear it and hear a band actually singing together rather than, like, singing along with each other is kind of a different thing. Right. Um, and that's just something we wanted to do, and we've always cared about cared about hearing the character in, in the different singers' voices. And all the groups that we love have, like, very distinct voices, and when they sing harmonies together they still sound like themselves and it makes it more beautiful that way rather than just these like four kind of whitewashed voices it's like yeah but there's hear, like really there's depth in yeah, in, in each you song know, you hear stevie nicks and lindsey buckingham and christy singing together and you can pick out each one and and it's, there's something really cool about that really special Evan Way, congratulations on the new Parson Redheads album. Orb Weaver is so beautiful. Thanks for being here at Mountain Air Studios. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.